The basketball wise, the basketball wise, the basketball wise, the oh 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 oh, hello, welcome to J Stuck Reviews. We're reviewing, of course, basketball wise. Come, on. take a seat with me, and let's discuss what's going on with these elephants. <laughs> Let me tell you something about these basketball wives. Shawnee's disciples, that's what I should call them. Shawnee, man, these women, doesn't, they don't even have a, a thought in their head, do they? Jen and Evelyn, what is wrong with you? Jen and Evelyn, they go down to Orlando. They leave Miami for what reason. They're complaining all the way down there. They're going to see Gloria. To interrupt her and Matt's deal. So they're going down there and interrupting this lovely family atmosphere. The funny part, when they get there, they knock at the door, they're talking about the lady all the way up there. How are you going to talk about somebody and go to their house and eat? That's just disrespectful. I don't even understand that right there. This is some disrespectful helpers right there. Y'all should just bang y'all head on the table. But they get in there, and the food is looking lovely. Everything's looking placed out. They say, ooh, she cooked this like that was a foreign language. Like they were on a different planet. They saw people cooking food for their husband that's making a lot of money, that's bringing everything to the table. They see the little kids and everything, and the first thing they start talking about is some damn Tiger Woods. What does Tiger Woods say around here? For they can bring up the subject and then get disgusted by the subject. How you gonna bring it up and then, oh, I would do this? You wouldn't do anything or Tiger Wood wouldn't even see neither one of y'all. You ain't the right complexion. So, you know, at the at that, they talking about, well, he did this and he did that. But Matt said, you know what? He's a hell of a golfer to me. And to my subject, that's what he is. He's a great golfer. But they wanted to make something more out of that. And then they come at the table in this man house. They disrespectful. Tiny nine ass. They come in the dis from the disrespectful area. They coming back to this man house and they're gonna ask him like, "Well, you see anything that be going on the road? You tell me you don't want to. You never seen anything in the road? Why he uh, on the road? Why his wife is standing right there? You don't do no disrespectful stuff like that. You don't even ask no questions like that. Oh, so you don't see none of the people out there? So he pleased the fifth. Oh yeah, good political answer. But what are y'all? The morality police, not the former groupies, not the people that, you know, I don't know, your education, your background. That's what I told y'all before. We all met y'all husband that. Y'all was the same things out there doing the groupie veal groupie. Y'all out there, the groupies of the groupiest people, and y'all come out there trying to say anything. And then for wives, let me tell you something. You weren't even married to Antoine Walker. What are you talking about, Evelyn? Antoine Walker, he the one put you up in your situation and got your money the way it is right now. So and then, but you always you say you don't want to talk about him, but you talk about him every show. At the same time, you got thing um, Jen. Jen's talking about Eric and my husband and this and always trying to check people right there, man. And your husband ain't trying to see you. He don't want you to go nowhere with him. You just came around there. All you doing is sitting around spending money. All you doing is looking like Keith Sweat, long neck. To cut this out. Y'all went in the man house and destroyed it. I mess say, don't corrupt them. And they said, oh, what kind of comment does that mean? Don't corrupt them. Man, get y'all behind back to Miami. Took themselves back on the road for that road trip right there to see what's on somebody going on. Then you're trying to befriend Jenny, trying to befriend Royce, trying to make her out to be like you. And then with all this fake, you're fake, girl. You know you're super fake. But y'all Shawnee's disciples. Shawnee got y'all out there doing everything right there. Come on, Shawnee. You got five kids out there with Shaq. Man, leave Shaq alone. Stop putting them out there blasting this stuff out there because you're looking real silly. And you got these silly little girls, these little girls, following up with you. This stuff is absolutely ridiculous. Then you go going everything. Everything is about, well, we're going to Chad. Oh, your single party. 85. Oh, it's boring here. Oh, it's raining. This, this. Party is not on. And then you messing with women that's coming in there because, oh, she used to mess with my husband, leave my husband, and you got a bad reputation. Go to your husband, check him. You grown, you acting like a little girl. What you in, the fourth grade? What you in? What you a freshman? 
in high school? Come on now. Get off of that, man. That's a grown man. And that's a grown lady. And you check the wrong person, you're going to get checked out. So you got to relax yourself. Long neck. Key sweat. Come on, Jen. Don't be like that. Y'all coming all over the place right there. Only one I can be cool with is Royce. Royce is herself. She's being who she is. That's what she is. She's kind of, you know, young. She's in her element. She's doing what she want to do. Don't fake being a groupie. Now, y'all groupies, and that's what y'all is from the from the third degree. Y'all have never met Shiny. You'd have never been in this little circle that y'all got if y'all were never with the basketball player. Don't pretend that you don't want no athlete or don't want nobody because everybody else you see. I told you, do you want Dan from the meat market? Do you want the man that's playing in Kmart? Hell no, you don't want him from Walmart. No, you don't want all these people. So you in, you've dealt the cards. Play them cards that you've dealt. And at the same time, Eric, man, <laughs> Eric ain't even trying to see Jen. Jen, you looking so uh, you looking so pissed off, girl. You know, come back. You need know what you need to do, Jen. Hit me at stuckluck at gmail dot com. I can talk to you and uh, teach you a little something. All the friends out there, y'all get that back to Evelyn, and y'all get that back to Jen. And Shiny, get back get back with me. Y'all got to get with me right now. Check me out, man, if I can teach y'all. And if y'all want to come right here at the table and interview, we can do that, too. We can come all right. Don't hate, just appreciate. I'm putting the information out to the people. I love the people, so I want the people to love me. Y'all come back. I'm going to be interviewing. I'm going to be getting everything squared away. I'm going to call these heifers out. You know, that's what they are. It's it's a, it's a shame. You know, that's what I call them. They they always think they're in a fraternity. It should be in a fraternity called SAB. Sad ass bitches. That's what it should be. I don't understand anything else. But I got a few books that y'all should check out and should read. Because I don't know that romper room stuff that y'all going around. And where are your children if you got any? Well, I never see them anywhere. All I see you is in Groupie Video World. I'm going to call a new world. Uh, I'm going to start a show and I'm going to call it Groupie Video. And I'm going to let y'all come on. I don't know if y'all can start. Yeah, y'all can come on and start on that show. But what y'all need to be doing, read this first book right here. Truth. Seeing black and white in a gray world. Seeing black and white in a gray world. It says itself. You know, it's never, nothing, never black and white. The other book I say, Jen, do you. <laughs> Ross Simmons, man, just do you. Do you, Jen, Evelyn, do you. Ross, y'all cool. Y'all got some other people right there, but them right there, I got to check them out. Oh, man, Shawnee, I got one for you, though. Act like a lady, speak like a man. That's what you got to do. Steve Harvey's been trying to tell y'all. Y'all got everything going on. Check out Steve Harvey. He'll give y'all a few notes right there. Not coming around pimping and telling me everything that you got. Book out. What y'all really need to be doing, though, is um, At the Feet of Ordinary Women. This book right here, The Keys of Being a Godly Woman. Check the book out, man. Check out and read. Can y'all read? I don't know. Man, y'all, I mean, y'all can talk. I don't know if y'all can read, though. Try to read a book a week. Short story. Man, um, check out Don't Blame the Coach. It's got some kind of things that's going to it, man. I, that, that author right there, he's doing his thing. Don't blame the coach. But with, with y'all women right here, y'all just need to calm it down. Bring it down a notch. When you go back and look at these pictures, say, damn, I can't believe I'm looking that stupid. Because y'all, uh, what they people say on Fred Flintstone, you're dumb dumb. Just relax yourself. Chill out. But we know what? We'll get ready for the next episode. Next week, I'm going to check y'all out and see what else y'all got. I heard y'all threw a drink on somebody. I wish a motherfucker would throw a drink on me. Don't do that out there. Man, that's assault. So I'm going to give this right here in my review of the Basketball Wise. I'm going to give it a one, two, three. Love that show. Three. Juggernauts. See you next week.